Hello, everybody. I just want to wish our American friends a very happy Thanksgiving. And I want you to stay watching at the very end of the video. There's going to be a lot of messages from our staff. Enjoy this episode of Horse Shelter Heroes. Okay, so this morning we're preparing for our one day animal shelter and it's pretty exciting. There's a little bit of planning to go into it, more so a lot of it for some of the people here. We are putting together our clipboards with all the information that people need to sign. Kimberly is doing a lovely job. And so we have them all color coded so that yes. it's easier on yeah, us and on who's coming. It's exciting. Yeah, so we've got um, multiple animal surrender, we've got small animal surrender, we've got horses and all kinds of things. Yes, it'll be great. Yeah, it's exciting. we're excited. When we relocated from California to Tennessee, we came here because there were no animal services in this area. We actually looked at maps of Tennessee and saw that there was this void of counties that had no animal services. The mayor uh, that was just elected in Hickman County uh, came to us and um, we talked a lot about the problems of you know, having no animal services within a county. And we told him, you know what, let's, let's have this free surrender event. And we are doing um, low cost rabies, low cost microchipping, free euthanasia if somebody has a suffering animal and free surrender. So we really have no idea what today is going to look like or what it's going to happen. Um, but we did get a lot of response from people that were very happy we were having the event. Um, so we're going to do the best we can today and Middle Tennessee, it's a rural area and there's not a lot of resources. So we're really happy that our organization is here. Um, we'll have Dr. Lydia here, um, Jen, our vet tech and a whole team ready to accept these animals and um, do whatever we can to help them. And also offering the low cost rabies and microchipping um, is just great to be able to offer services to the community for animals in need. So green is gonna be surrenders. Um, there's different types of surrenders based on what they're surrendering. So there's a form for small animals, the form for horses, and there is another form for multiple animals of any type. So just make sure you're, um, for whoever's gonna be handing the papers to people that you're grabbing the right one, they are all labeled and color coded. So all the green ones are the surrenders. And then for people surrendering for euthanasia, um, they're all right here. Again, just make sure you're getting the correct surrender form. They are all labeled if you read them carefully. Um, and then we do have an extra label, red, for any dangerous animal. So those, the cages or the animal, probably not the animal, but the cages will be labeled. We have this red tape for any dangerous animal. We have the, um, in the treatment area, poor Jenna, she's really cold down there, but do you want to explain kind of what your 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 spot is over there? And you can hold it down. It okay. So we are going to have two tables in the main treatment area. One is going to be for the microchipping, one is going to be for the rabies. Our small animal room is where Dr. Young and I will do any euthanasias that need it. And then we have the room with our adoptable cats, so if people want to look at those, we have those ones. And then the uh, stall next to it is where we're gonna be any surrender cats goes and then the surgery suite is where we're gonna put surrendered dogs the mayor is coming um, he's the one that you know wants to have animal services in Hickman County Hickman County's never had animal services before other than within the city um, so the county has not had animal services so that's why we're doing this event he came talked to us and we're trying to offer services for Hickman County and we have no idea what we're going to be seeing today but we will be prepared for whatever whatever comes our way. Safety, safety first. Um, and Dr. Lydia will be here um, and we also have the veterinarian clinic uh, that's coming to uh, do the rabies shots and um, it should all go good but 
at any time anyone's worried about your safety, don't, you know, don't try to be the hero and swoop in and, and do what you're not comfortable doing. At, you know, we, we can sedate an animal in a vehicle if we had to. We have lots of um, like we don't, we don't want to jeopardize anyone's safety. So it's gonna be a great event. Um, I know y'all are gonna do an amazing job and uh, we're gonna help a lot of animals today. We have a very big surrender event happening today. It is sponsored by Hickman County and we're hoping to get quite a bit of surrenders today. I think it's mostly gonna be small animals and all the small animals we get surrendered will go into the vet barn and any horse that we get will be going into the intake barn right here. Um, we don't really expect to get too many horses, but we gotta be prepared for everything. I'm getting cages set up right now for the cats and the dogs. And also it's not just a surrender event, we're doing low cost microchipping and vaccinations as well. And it should be a good event. People are going to be pouring through those gates. We have been working all morning and most of last week getting ready for this event and we can't wait to help people today and animals. How do I say goodbye when I have so much more to give? So much more to give. How do I say goodbye? My name is Jim Bates. I'm the mayor of Hickman County. We're out here at Horse Plus today for a one day shelter. People are encouraged to come and uh, bring their animals if they're unwanted, um, if they don't have room for them. Horse Plus is gonna see to try to adopt them out. It's a very big need in Hickman County. Um, Horse Plus has been gracious enough to work with myself um, to put this on to help our animal situation in our county. Our long-term goals for Hickman County is to eventually have a uh, animal shelter of our own with an animal control officer so that we can um, take care of all of the animals that, that need to be taken care of in our, in our county. Hickman County for so long has been without um, the facilities or the personnel to address the problem that they're having. Um, Horse Plus here in Lewis County was able to come forward and help us and we do greatly appreciate it. I think in the last um, three, three and a half weeks, we've had seven dog bites in Hickman County. Uh, unfortunately, the sheriff's office are the ones that have to respond to these. Um, they have other duties to pertain to besides animal bites. So we're looking very closely to putting an animal control officer in place in Hickman County. Hi, I'm Josh and this is my daughter Breland and we came today to Horse Plus Humane Society uh, to surrender two dogs and a cat. Um, we live in a county in Tennessee called Wayne County. We have a huge overpopulation issue. The open surrender here at Horse Plus Humane Society has actually opened up a lot of doors for us to be able to help rescue some dogs and some cats. We've had several fosters come through our home. Uh, the people of Wayne County just don't see the need for spay and neuter, but working with the rescue that we've worked with in Country Roads for the last two years, we have seen firsthand the devastation that overpopulation is causing. We rescued over 50 Akbosh and uh, Pyrenees dogs uh, last year from a hoarding situation, and Horse Plus Humane Society is doing a great thing and helping to make this wonderful cause uh, visu visible to everybody that needs to see it so that we can get more funding and more people to help us with this, pot with this problem. So today we're having uh, an event here at Horse Plus where we are accepting surrenders of dogs and cats. It's a big need this time of year when it gets cold for animals that don't have a warm place to be. Um, we've also offered to allow euthanasias of small animals. Um, people can't afford that service, so that makes it a hard day for us um, and a lot going on in um, 
We've got quite a few cats and dogs coming in already and we are working to assess their health and behavior as they come through. So, so far it's been busy. We're getting into the flow of things. Um, we're also offering rabies vaccines as well. So Dr. Scott was nice enough to include a technician from his clinic for that. So it's nice to be able to offer that service as well. What brought me in today was I had two animals, one, this one right here, and my other cat, they had to get their rabies vaccines and chipped, microchip, because I love them so much. The process was very easy. I came in, I paid the money, I think it was 40 bucks for all of it. Did the, all of it really quick and then we were good to go. This is so important because we have so many stray dogs running around everywhere. It's crazy. There's a lot. There's a lot of animals. But it is better than all of these animals being strays on the street. Excuse me. Came here today because my dogs, they really needed to get their rabies shot so that we could have updated information on them. And the process was really easy and simple. I think it's very important for the county. It's very welcoming and very easy to deal with. They also offer free stuff, which is nice, like dog food and stuff, so if you ever need supplies. Also, I just heard about a program that helps pay for neutering, so that's really nice. Ready? Yep. There he is. Hello. Hi. Say hello, my name's Gimpy. I'm a bottle baby. Gimpy? Gimpy. Well, he's got three left, three feet. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> and uh, I got him from Rhonda, and he was missing a foot. So. Hi, buddy. I know it. He'll let you, yeah, he'll let you pick him up. He just doesn't know what's going on, you know? He's scared. See you again. See you, buddy. Bye, baby. What's happening to you, Mike? We're just wrapping up our open intake day that happened here at Horse Plus. It was very busy. Um, despite being a freezing cold day, we had a lot of people turn out. I don't actually know the numbers. I'm sure you guys will find out later, but we had a lot of animals surrendered, both cats and dogs, as well as a lot of people who brought their animals in to be microchipped or get rabies vaccines. Um, so it was fun, it was an all hands on deck day. It was really fun to meet some people from our community. Um, we did offer last act of kindness to people who um, wanted to be here with their pets. And so it's always a really hard part of the day, but always really wonderful to see people who love their pets, um, give them that gift of passing with comfort and dignity. So altogether really busy day, but hopefully we helped a lot of animals and I'm curious to see what the final numbers are. I have no idea, it was a lot. Today has been an amazing day. Uh, we were able to help so many animals. We did uh, receive a lot of animals as surrenders, um, but in total we've helped 68 animals today. 12 cats, 54 dogs, one goat, and one horse. 18 animals were microchips, so people bringing animals in to receive microchips. Uh, 14 were uh, given uh, rabies shots and um, there were six that were owner requested euthanasias and then four that our medical team determined needed the last act of kindness as well. So an amazing event today. We're currently sheltering 35 um, animals that came from this event. So not everyone bringing animals to this event surrendered them because we were offering animal services. So it's awesome. A lot of animals got microchipped and got vaccinated and our medical team and uh, vets are gonna be very busy. We're gonna have a lot of spay and neuters uh, going on and get these animals ready for adoption. So all in all, it was a great event and we're really happy to work with the Hickman County Mayor with this event to bring animal services to Hickman County residents. And you know, of course we didn't say it could only be Hickman County. If we're doing an event, we're gonna help as many animals as we can. So 68 in one day is a lot. So I'm really, really excited about that and um, it's changed the world for these animals and given them a better, brighter future. Well, I saw at Horse Plus today, uh, approximately 70 animals brought for different things, um, such as microchipping and uh, rabies shots. 
and everybody here seemed so glad that they brought their animals. So it was a pleasure to see that in, in, in the works. Part of my campaign platform when I ran for Hickman County Mayor for Hickman County was to have an animal shelter built uh, before my four years in office was up. And um, we, are, we are working on that now for Hickman County. However, you know, there's, there's roadblocks and stumbles and the folks out here at Horse Plus was kind enough and gracious enough to help us try to take that first step in, in um, animal population uh, of Hickman County. This was a one day shelter here at Horse Plus um, where folks could bring their animals here um, they're unwanted ones. They could uh, surrender their animals for free. I saw lots of dogs and cats come in, uh, a horse, a goat. <laughs> so there were several animals that were brought here. Our animal population crisis in Hickman County is, is I, I'm gonna say, a, a lot out of hand. Um, there, there, there are a lot of animals that are being dropped on the side of the road and we desperately need, have a need for um, animal control, uh, an animal control officer for our county, as well as an animal shelter. Uh, we need to take the steps in the right direction to, to lessen the burden on the people, such as the Humane Society uh, there of Hickman County. I was here with my daughter all day um, from the time they opened up this uh, one day shelter at 1 p.m. and we stayed till 5 p.m. Uh, there was no animals brought in that a Horse Plus could not take care of. Um, everything from uh, signing the, the folks in to um, help with their pets, to give them the rabies shots and the uh, microchipping. And the vet, uh, we're here on staff as well, um, all the way down to the surrenders, you know, and Horse Plus is gonna do their best to find homes for the animals that did come in. As county mayor, you know, I, I see a need for, for organizations to work with one another, um, you know, hand in hand, so to speak. I think that uh, if we work with one another, we can make things better for everything. As far as Horse Plus goes, uh, they've been very generous to, to do this today to help Hickman County and their citizens with their animal problems. Um, I think maybe the Humane Society and Sheltered Friends of Hickman County would be an added benefit to, to reach out uh, for help from Horse Plus, as well as you know Horse Plus working together with them. Together, I think we can make a big difference. We are trying to get caught up today. We had a really busy intake event last night, and so we have a lot of cats and dogs here. So we're going to move forward with getting some spays and neuters um, taken care of today so those animals can get um, adapted out quickly. And so we're trying to work through that. We also have a bunch that still need to be screened for infectious diseases and vaccinated and microchipped. So we're gonna get caught up on that and then we're gonna go outside and take care of some horses after that. So we have, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. That's gonna take up a good good bit of space. That's okay. Oh, don't let my body. Should we have plugged it in before? Ah. No. The plug is the plug is over there. You can still see it. I'm gonna put all of my because we don't have anything in shelter love yet. All of my notes over here. This goes for you too, Dr. Liddy. I love you, but please don't touch any of these sticky notes. <laughs> also, I'll have you know, Casey, the other day when you were here, you left, and she said, Dr. Lydia stole my pen. I knew I should have never given it to her. <gasps> And it happened. It happened. She's a thief. Uh, yeah. But listen, I feel like I'm entitled to everyone's pen. I've never met a doctor that isn't a pen thief, though, so <laughs> she has somewhat of a pass. I, if it helps, it's a subconscious pen thievery. It doesn't, it doesn't help because you do know. <laughs> Oh, I know, that was terrible. He's on saliva, because look, this is like... We finished up cat neuters, and we're gonna move on to doing some surgery on some dogs. Come on, let's go over here. Are you a stinky puppy? 
Hi, you are so stinky. And you have two testicles, which is great. We're going to take them off today. That's going to be so great. 20. Let's go 24. I'm going to post this. Oh, my goodness. You're so stinky. You're so stinky. Hi. Hi, we're going to listen to your heart and lungs, okay? Hi, precious. Hi. This is gonna be great. We're just gonna take a little snoozy snooze. Oh my goodness. Are you very dramatic? Mm -hmm. You scream for the shave. The shave. <laughs> this is also in a vet clinic context. Like sometimes animals scream like this and then Understandably, owners are like, oh, what are you doing? And you're like, this puppy screams. Yeah, they'll scream when you like just, just barely Just to be, touch had the clippers, them. which were not painful, sir. Are we a little dramatic? Yeah, we are a little bit dramatic. Mm -hmm. It's time to take a little nap. You're very precious. Yes. No. Yeah. yeah, your tail's wagging. That's good. That's good boy. We're gonna just remove your nuts, just real fast. You're okay. I might have to go to the other side just because okay. this is the first one we poked on. I'm not holding off for you right now, which is super helpful. But, okay, we'll just put a bandage on that side. Okay. So when you wake up crying like this, we're gonna know that it's not because of your surgery. Yeah, you're okay. Yeah, you're just mad because you can't go where you want. Yeah. Listen, sir, you have an IV catheter in. You cannot be alligator rolling on the floor right now. Yeah, you may not. It's time to go to sleep now, okay? This is ridiculous. This is very ridiculous. Yeah, there we go. Okay, perfect. Okay. Good night. All right. Let me just think about that for a minute. Think about what you've done. Often the ones that are really excited to begin with are ones that stay sedated for a little bit longer of a time. So this puppy was very wide awake to begin with, and now he's sound asleep. Nobody died from a nail trim. Nobody died yeah, from a nail trim. We just finished up our last scheduled dog surgery for today. So we're going to grab some lunch and then we're going to switch gears and work on um, getting everybody's intake done from yesterday. A lot of the dogs and cats we looked at pretty briefly because we had so much going on yesterday and then got a couple horses to look at after that. We are getting horses caught and ready for the ferry to come out. He should be here in a few minutes. Probably weighs like 350 pounds, doesn't he? Yeah, probably. He's he's a big little guy. He's he's chunky for his height. <laughs> How long has he been here? Um, we've had him since October of last year, okay. so a little over a year, but he's our mascot, so he's a he's permanent a resident. resident. Yeah, exactly. Was she okay for that first one? Yeah, yeah, no issues so far. This is Juniper. She's old. I don't remember how old. She's 20 something.
good for her feet. She's sweet. I don't even have to hold her. I love it. Let's not tip over. Up, oh, there, up, oh, nope, okay. Cut it out, Bubba. Please don't get kicked. <laughs> yeah, he's a bit of a time bomb, isn't he? Would someone mind handing me that? I think if I move, he's probably gonna fall over. Sure does like to throw his weight around. One more foot, buddy. Dude. I feel pretty good about that. It's not, it's not a award-winning trim job, but he's not an award-winning patient, so. <laughs> So the farrier just headed out. All the horses did a lot better than we expected and they have a lot better feet now. <laughs> Performing a little mm. horse surgery here. There was a little incident with a big whiteboard. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, he goes, yeah. It wasn't Keith by any chance. He's no. that he just decided to come in and and, <laughs> and help me. Help do surgery. Yeah. <laughs> we have three broken legs, so but we're gonna she's gonna she's gonna pull through. She's gonna pull through. Well, mm-hmm. Okay. So we'll first put the sutures. And then put the suture glue on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we don't even need Lydia for our Okay. I've already got super glue on my fingers. Yay! He's gonna pull through. Now this is definitely... No, nah, that wouldn't fit there. <laughs> it might fit back here though. Yay! <laughs> okay, so all we're missing is a hoof. Yeah. Well, I didn't hold on to that one long enough. <laughs> oh. oh. Pull through, old Jakey Chestnut. <laughs> What's gonna be bad is it's gonna fall when Tawny's in here doing a live video. She's gonna be like, oh, my horse! <laughs> and I'm gonna be like, oh, Tawny! But they have proof that we did it before. Yeah, then. she'll see it on the video. <laughs> okay. She's almost as good as new. Now she has a gaping sore here. Is that where that goes? No, this one. Oh, she uh -oh. said those. No. Uh oh. He, he must have heard Well, it. I heard laughter over there for like 20 minutes. He I'm must, like, yeah, yeah, everybody over there wants yeah. to laugh. Th this one here, this gaping hole goes in that gaping hole. Are you sure? Because he's missing a p patella area. No, this one, right this one, this one fits perfectly okay. right there. Do you so. know where the whole thing goes? Oh, we don't know it, where anything goes. Then the trail, oh, Jason, but we worked so Humpty, valley. Humpty Dumpty fell off the yeah, wall. Yeah, we're, we're still missing the hole. But, but they, yeah, we're missing a hoof. Yeah, that's a gelding. Okay. So this is we're a three legs. <laughs> we have a three-legged gelding up for adoption. If anybody would like to find a, oh look, he still stands. Nope. Oh. <laughs> we gotta make him a tripod. Okay, well, he's coming along. Yay! You can make him a prosthetic, Keith. Look at you being all kind of up with the times. Oh my gosh, keep it like that. Let's see if Tawny ever notices. 
The prosthetic. Yay! <laughs> Keith the problem solver. I love it. I can't wait till Tommy notices. When she does, I'll grab the camera. I will let y'all have her wonder. Rebecca and I work here at Horse Plus and I am the receptionist and I'm also the content creator. That's what I spend most of my time doing. So most of the days when I get here at work, I open the computer because that's where most of my work happens and I go on Facebook and I check comments, I check your donations and I send video messages thanking you guys for all that you do for us. And then I go to Shopify and I make sure that all the orders you have made go through and that you receive your packages. And then I spend the day creating different posts, writing grant stories to let you know what horses you're helping. And yeah, I just make sure that there's enough content so that you know what's going on. So it was actually almost, I know it sounds kind of crazy, but it chose me. I didn't choose the job. Um, I ended up here by a series of life circumstances and I was afraid because I didn't know what the job was all about or I didn't know enough about horses when I first started here and so I decided to dedicate and study more about horses and every time someone told me new vocabulary I would write it down and now I know a lot more about horses and I love them more for it. My favorite part is honestly the connections I've been able to make and how eye-opening it was. I feel like a lot of the time we have a view of horses as this you know, very fancy animals. And it's kind of been a wonderful learning experience to see the side that we don't talk about a lot. And I especially enjoy auction week because it's where I feel like we're really getting the job done in saving horses. Also, one of the things that I have enjoyed doing here at Horse Plus, besides my regular work, is looking through the comments and finding comments in different languages. So. I wanted to take a chance and speak to people in those languages since, well, I get to understand the comments and it's pretty exciting. Entonces, a mis amigos que hablan español, muchas gracias por ver lo que Horse Plus compartía. Espero que les guste y que puedan compartir con sus amigos. Y siempre que vea sus comentarios, bueno, voy a responder en español. Y bueno. And well, I couldn't miss the opportunity to greet my Portuguese speaking friends, right? Bom, todo mundo que fala português, muito obrigada por tudo que vocês fazem pelo Horse Plus, onde quer que você esteja, acho que especialmente no Brasil. E eu espero que vocês gostem muito do material e sempre que eu vi os seus comentários, eu vou responder em português. Bom, continuem ajudando a salvar mais cavalos e até a próxima! So we do have a few confirmed shingles cases here at Horse Plus right now. Um, I am currently running all of the horses down at the main part of the facility up to get them checked. Um, this horse behind me here, Flicka, she has a fever of 103.8. I'm going to palpate underneath of her jaw real quick to see if she's got any swelling down there. If we do notice that they have that infection, we are giving them Exceed. This is a antibiotic that we use here, and it works great on killing infections. And she has also been here for over six months, so we are going to go ahead and give her some ivermectin paste here. We've got a whole list of them that need it. No swelling. We're good to go. Yeah. Cool. Um, we're just assessing Amber today. Her um, abdom her abdominal fill seems to have enlarged, and so pregnancy is one of the possibilities. Um, we weren't able to tell based on palpation of that caudal abdomen, so we're going to grab the ultrasound and find out. So we're going to have Jenna see if she can preg check this mare. Hey, oh my goodness, you are so cute. That's Ranger. Ranger, hi, I feel like I should have something delicious for you. So we have two different probes on our ultrasound. This one is designed for use in the rectum. You can see the part that reads is right here. Um, this one is better on kind of like tendons and ligaments. I'm gonna try us starting off with this one. Um, on the abdomen first. Jenna, I'm giving you the tendon probe, and if we're not successful, we can swap probes. Okay. 
That's all just muscle layers. Isn't that it? You don't have to go in. So we just checked her belly, see so if she had any fluid, abnormal fluid in her belly, um, or if we found any evidence of a fetus. Um, we have not, so we are gonna ultrasound her rectally now. They will clamp down, but they'll also then let go. So both going in and going out, I never, even if I'm lubricated, I just kind of work with them. The anal sphincter, you can push against. But once you're past the anal sphincter, I always make my hands this shape. Once you're past there, I usually kind of give them a minute. Um, and then often they'll kind of relax. Sometimes they'll poop with you. Um, some vets clean out the whole rectum. I really don't. I just kind of work around the poop. Um, that's a personal preference and I don't think there's one right or wrong way. It is hard to get a really crisp, perfect image with poop in the way, but we don't have the capability to get excellent images anyway, right? We're like, we're basically, is there an amniotic fluid sac or not, right? So you can see that with some poop in there. Sometimes that baby is so far down in there that all you can feel is like, yep, cervix is really tight and closed. Uterine body is stretched super hard down there. Um, bladder is a blob of liquid. So I like to identify, here's the bladder, passing the bladder, and then you're basically just looking for a black blob of fluid. Okay. <clears throat> um, you probably also know this trick, but I like to take a big handful of glob and then like pull my rectal sleeve down, soup it up in there, and then like pull it back on. And then, like, yeah, yes, like yep, exactly. Like So then you have it all like soupy up in there as you're going in. It's never a wrong choice to use more lube. Just when in doubt, use more lube. I can hold the tail for you. You wanna smear some lube on her butt? Yeah, I want like more lube. Yeah. I want more in this here though. I want more lube water. Yep, have at it. This is watery water. Use all the lube. All right, so also always take note of the vulva. Um, so to me, this looks like a mare that's definitely fold before. She's got bilaterally unsymmetrical, kind of a saggy vulva on that side. Oh no. Uh, yeah, if they're great. in estrus, they'll often have kind of like a poofy vulva with yeah. discharge. <clears throat> she looks like she's got some runny stool, but I don't see any indications of estrus. And mentation wise, she looks very calm and relaxed. Um, you also can kind of like gently rotate your hand side to side, sometimes a little bit of in and out will trigger them to feel like they need to poop, and that can be helpful. Yeah. Just gently progress, and if you get like real resistance, back up a little bit, turn, just kind of keep feeling good. your way through. Do you want me to clean around? I'm gonna come around and hold the tail. Hi, ma'am. Honey. You're doing great. Does it back your up anymore? Nope. I have like gorilla arms. Wow, you just made pushing him look so easy. She's like, don't tear it's anything. Always, and it's, then... it's always easier to go in after somebody else. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't image bladder, but I already know that I'm past bladder. That's ovary right there. Mm -hmm. See the round circle? Mm -hmm. I've got a follicle on it. So you'll see a little circle right in the middle. Okay, so that's left ovary. Excuse me? I beg your pardon? Are we plugged in? Yeah. Okay. Wow, it's just about to go to the x-ray machine. I like to die in the middle of doing important things. It's fine. There you go, now you're back. Shutting down. Shutting down. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep going without the ultrasound. Yeah, okay, great. Here you go. So much. Fun, 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 fun for everyone. All right, last time, girl. I think that's the tail of the spleen.
basically I'm messing around with things and waiting to feel if they mess around back with me. It's very scientific. <laughs> Our ultrasound decided to turn off, so. So she could just be fat with a broodmare body. She could just be fat. She's definitely fold before. I mean, she's got scars on her vulva. So back she here. just needs to be worked. She, I mean, I could be like. I think we should repeat ultrasonography if we continue to have weight gain. But um, what sometimes happens is when the abdomen has been stretched out before, and then when there's weight gain, that's where it settles. Yeah, same. Yeah. Hear your pain, girl. Listen. You're doing great. I am thankful for my family, my pets, for a, a job where I can help animals, and for good adopters. I'm Dallas, and I am super grateful, as I am every year, for my friends, family, my personal horses, my animals, dogs, cats, and my little goat. Um, this year, I'm especially grateful for being able to join the Horse Plus team. Um, I moved here to Tennessee from California last year, and I'm just incredibly grateful to be here with these amazing people that work so hard for horses every day. I am thankful for family. This Thanksgiving, I am so thankful for so many things, but especially thankful that the past act passed the house, and that means that we're one step closer to ending the big lick. Um, and I, I've just been tracking it here, and. These are all the people that voted for and against it. And just so thankful for everyone voting to pass it. Um, and hopefully it will become law after it, it continues down the chain of uh, events that it needs to do to become law. But um, just thankful for so many things this, this Thanksgiving and especially for your amazing supporters and donors. I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. Hi, this year I'm thankful for my family and my friends here in Tennessee and back home in Michigan. I am so thankful for all of our supporters and all that we get to do here at Horse Plus Humane Society. And I'm also thankful for my family and all my friends. I'm Christy. I'm the bookkeeper here at Horse Plus Humane Society. And I'm thankful to work for such a wonderful organization that helps so many animals. And we just couldn't do this work without our wonderful supporters. And, and I'm thankful for my family and um, I'm thankful for my health. And I'm thankful for every day that the good Lord gives me. My name is Rebecca and the thing I'm most thankful for since working here is being able to see how many horses we can rescue in one year thanks to your help. Um, this year we've helped over 2,000 animals and a lot of those, or if not majority, are horses and that, that brings a lot of joy to my heart. I feel very thankful and I'm excited that auction is coming up and we get to once again save more horses. So that's what I'm thankful for. My name is Isabella and I'm thankful for my husband, Alex. Um, and we just got married. And I'm just very grateful to God how we got together and everything. I'm Jason, head of media here at Horse Plus Humane Society. And this year I'm thankful for so many things, but especially I'm so thankful we were able to rescue over 2,022 animals. And it's way over that now. And that is such an amazing year. We've never been able to do something like that before. And I'm gonna get back to working on media because I know you guys love to see it. Hi, I'm Macy, and I'm really thankful for my parents and my siblings. I'm Owen, and uh, what I'm thankful for is, is God, my family, my job, and uh, just being able to live life. My name is Haley, and I am very thankful for my family and for this job. I get to work with animals all the time. So this Thanksgiving, I have a lot to be thankful for. I am very thankful for God and my salvation. I am very thankful for my family and friends, as well as the opportunity to actually do what I love every day. My name is Faye, and this year I'm very thankful for my friends and family. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Uh, this Thanksgiving, I am thankful for um, all of you who support Horse Plus and myself and my training, I'm thankful for my friends and my family. I am thankful to be working for an organization like Horse Plus and be able to do what I love every single day as well.